there's a common crow caterpillar forming his chrysalis. And so he's shedding his skin. So we've had these uh, common crow caterpillars for quite a while, uh, about two weeks, and we got them when they were really, really little, and they um, kept them in this tank and gave them the leaves that they were eating on when we found them, and um, this is our common crow number six that has formed his chrysalis. Nearly done. It's so fascinating and yet so gross at the same time. It's going to wiggle quite a lot in a minute. Try and get that skin off the top so it can get all comfortable and start to turn into a butterfly. He was in the downward J position for about a day. He was motionless for a day. Until this happened. the skin. And now he just wiggles and wiggles and gets comfortable in there. And the chrysalis actually changes shape quite a lot in the first half an hour. It still amazes me how they can hang on by one little thing. I don't know what it's
what's happening inside there, but I don't think anyone really does. For sure. Yeah, I think he's done wiggling now, so he'll just wiggle a little bit more and change shape and become a bit more shortened a little bit. And when he's done, he will turn into this, which is uh, the exact same butter caterpillar, and it changed two days ago. For the first day, they're yellow. And then after that, they turn into a brilliant gold jewel. They're so pretty. And um, they just get more beautiful as time goes on. And after about 10 days or so, the butterfly will emerge. The day before the butterfly emerges, it turns a dark black color. And that's just um, shows the butterfly inside. So yeah, that's just He's stopped moving now, so there you go. The change of a caterpillar into a chrysalis in real time. <laughs> so thank you for watching.